Hi, welcome back. In this slide, I have listed down few points that I want you all to think about. These are very important questions that we might need to seek answers soon. Let's go one by one. First one would be, how might the purchasing and supply management function evolve in the future? Then, will there be a new supply management emerge in the future? How might the supply professional skill sets will change and develop? What kind of business intelligence will we need in the future? And the other would be, how might we work with the supply base in the future? And the last would be, will risk management become everyone's business? These are important questions that we need to think about and need to understand and need to address. Now, in the next few slides, we will be discussing these points in detail. In this slide, we will discuss on how a procurement function might evolve in the future. So these facts and figures or the predictions are given based on what we are experiencing currently in the marketplace in terms of procurement. The first point would be the spend management would shrink. So in today's world, we know that every organization is really, really careful about their spend. And the main responsibility of a procurement function would be managing this entire spend. With the latest trends that we see in the marketplace, so it's not only the procurement team who has become responsible for this function, meaning managing the spend. Now, every business unit has been made responsible in order to manage their spend. So, with this trend, going forward, yes, there might be a procurement function who will act on this or who will be leading on this. But the size of the procurement organization might shrink and most of those responsibilities abilities will be allocated to certain business units. So a procurement function will have their core job and will be leading the management of the spend, but the responsibilities will also be allocated to certain business units. The second point would be profits replacing cost savings. Now in today's business world, what we clearly see is that the main focus of a procurement division would be cost saving. To save cost from an organization based on their spend. But this trend is slowly shifting towards revenue. Meaning when a procurement division is functioning, they also need to think about revenue growth. And both these should come together. So going forward, I will not be surprised that procurement divisions also getting key performance indicators, meaning KPIs, which will be related to profits or revenue generation. The third point could be the budget that an organization will have might not have a direct impact on cost saving. So in today's world, we see a procurement function will get a certain budget to work with. And if they are meeting that budget and making sure all the purchases are done on time, then basically they have achieved their KPIs. But going forward, that could be a question mark because they're talking about all the value additions that an organization should bring out to their customers. So there might be not uh, there might not be a link directly sometimes going forward between a budget and a cost saving, but 
the procurement division might have to bring in new value additions that might be on top of their budgets in order to make sure that the organization is successful. The fourth point would be saying goodbye to the buyers. So in today's world, if you look at a procurement organization, there are certain buyers who are working on those areas. But as I have explained in my previous slides, with the technology being developed, we see a lot of new platforms and applications being used in this area of procurement. And those will replace most of the buyers who are involved in this procurement process. And the last point would be strategic business units, the BUs, will absorb the procurement function. So as we discussed in the first point, there could be a small number of people who will be lead in the procurement function, but most of the people who are the buyers might get absorbed to the respective business units because the spend management would be a responsibility of them as well. So these are some key few trends that we might see in the future in the area of procurement. In this slide, we will be discussing how a new supply management would emerge in the future in our business marketplace. The first point would be, we will see an increase of outsourcing activities. This is something that we have discussed in our previous slides as well on how an organization would identify a non-core business activity and outsource that to a reliable party who can do that in a better way. But recently, we have seen some trends where some, lead, some leading organizations, they outsource their procurement and sourcing activities as well. They will make sure the, the core planning and the strategic part would remain in the organization and the rest of the operational activities will be outsourced to a third party. The next important point would be the service providers calling the shots, meaning with the fast growing demand for procurement outsourcing to the marketplace, both the quantity and the quality of the third party procurement services will definitely increase dr drastically and their performance will also improve in many ways in many spent categories and therefore it will be very sure for the organizations that it would be better to outsource the procurement activities at an operational level to a third party rather than having it in-house. The next point would be the expansion of the strategy scope. Since mid 1980s, we have seen a transformation in the procurement from a tactical to a strategic level. Meaning more and more focus has been going into creating a procurement strategy and having a correct plan. So with the new trend of outsourcing, what we will see is that the organization will have a small set of people who will be focusing more on the strategy and the planning part of procurement and the rest will be outsourced to a third party. The last and the important point would be most of the procurement divisions will get linked to so many financial indicators. In today's world, what we see is they are mainly focusing on saving cost and making sure to purchase goods and materials and services as per the budgets that has been given. But going forward, based on the trend that we see, that they will also be responsible for optimizing cash flow and optimizing working capital 
working on dynamic discounting methodologies, agreeing on new business models such as pay as you grow, so on and so forth. So the physical supply chains will remain, but the procurement division will have so many indicators which are financial that will measure their performance. This slide will be discussing on how new business intelligence systems will have an impact on future procurement activities. Point number one would be prices would be much more transparent. Since the advancement of technologies, example e-sourcing, global trading networks, online communities, the prices of goods and services in the marketplace will be so much transparent. And as a result, negotiation might become a lost art. The second point could be more and more focus on risk and associated information. Since the advancement of technology and prices and information becoming more and more transparent, there will be more focus on risk and how to develop a certain mechanism to measure them. The procurement functions and the associated divisions will focus on how they can standardize this risk and the way of measuring this risk with the help of all the third party stakeholders. A trend that we will see in the future is most organizations, since they might know each other and their information as they are very transparent, they will pool their data in order to assess their operational risk. So a, a trend that we might be able to predict would be in certain areas, even the competitors might have to work together in order to identify the common risk so that they can come up with a plan to mitigate them. The third point would be how data will be predicted in future. So if you look into the traditional procurement process, they have been looking backward on what they have spent last year, how supply performance has been during the last year or month or quarter, but in the future, the procurement division and the respective model should always needs to be to look at future and forward and based on that, take decision. The last point would be the emergence of procurement intelligence systems. So with the advancement of technology, Powerful intelligence systems are being established in organizations which will give them all information which are accurate, timely, structured from a 360 degree point of view so that decision making will be easy and accurate. This slide is all about collaboration with your suppliers. With the trends that are happening in the current marketplace, what can be predicted on future? Point number one could be, there would be so many innovation from your suppliers. So the traditional buyer supplier engagement will fade away in the future and most of the innovations will come through your suppliers. So your supplier will be a partner of yours in the future and they will make sure that they will provide so much of new products, innovations into your pipeline. But in order to do that, 
there should be a certain trust between the two organizations and there should be a strong understanding as well. The next point would be from a market point of view where customers will not ask for products but they will be demanding for solutions. So the same way you will need to work with your suppliers as well because the current trend that we see that most of customers they don't want a one-off product which will satisfy one of one or two of their requirements but instead they want solutions a total solution that will cater most of their requirements so the products will fade away gradually and there will be more tendency to go with solutions so once again it will be a collaboration with your suppliers who we work with in order to make this happen and the last point could be that you will see suppliers in your workplace sitting with you all and working as one team and it will be a joint effort that will provide the solution to the end customer this slide talks about risk management being everyone's business in the future let's discuss why in the future what can be predicted would be that everything will start with an e and the procurement world will be automated even today we are talking about the terms like p2p sourcing contract management and other automation engines that will be taking over the procurement function over the next few years and all activities will be integrated right from the upstream down to the downstream and it will give a transparency to all stakeholders who are involved throughout which will mean there will be a certain risk that the business world will have to focus on the next point would be work goes mobile today we all know the role of smartphones and tablets and embedded chips and there could be other more devices that will create a total different marketplace and today because of these devices what we have seen that a lot of procurement professionals and suppliers are using these devices in order to plan and execute their professional or procurement plans we are seeing it in a big way right now and it only get bigger and fast in the future the third point could be all this time what we have realized that the procurement function for the division is mainly responsible for cost saving meaning saving cost of their expenditure so they have been working like a goalkeeper in a soccer match at the very end of the ground or the soccer pitch you will see a goalkeeper trying to save the goal same way the supply and the procurement team has been acting as the goalkeeper in order to save cost but if you see during the next 10 to 12 years there could be a total different approach meaning you will see the attention will turn towards growth and a digital a digitally connected network between the suppliers and the clients they will work as one team they will work as partners and they will collaborate each other so that they can provide solutions to the respective customers but again i'm emphasizing all these will have a certain risk and the organization will have to come up with risk mitigation plans in parallel the next point 
business transactions and the business world become complex. As the economies are emerging and becoming very strong, what we see is that more and more new approaches, new practices are coming into the business world. More and more it will become complex. So it is the responsibility of the management to make sure that they have correct plans for the future as well as risk mitigation plans. And the last point would be risk would be everyone's wake up call. Meaning as the supplier and the client they are working together they are all responsible for any risk that will emerge. So they need to work as one team and come up with a common risk register and continuously focus on those in order to mitigate them. As the final slide, we will be discussing how procurement professionals should change or improve their skill sets in the future. Based on what we have discussed so far, what we can understand and predict for the future will be that leaders of the organizations will be expecting procurement professionals to move out of their traditional thinking. So the traditional procurement thinking, procurement practices, procurement skills, negotiation skills, these might not help them in the future as they are adding value in the present. The business leaders would be expecting the procurement professionals to think out of their functional thinking and to think from a business leader's point of view. So in summary, they will be expecting the procurement professionals to be very professional, intelligent, influential, persuasive, visionary, strategic thinking, collaborative. So the procurement professionals should understand these and invest their effort and time on developing the rest of the skills. The other point would be there could be a new definition, definition of expert, meaning with the skill sets changing and development of knowledge, there will be so much of a broad expectation from the management and from the marketplace as well as the suppliers from these professionals. And the most important third point would be there will be so much talent that will be coming up in the pipeline. And the new generation will be geared up with the new skill sets that are wanted in the marketplace. And the older generation will have to make sure that they invest their time and effort in order to meet that expected level. Now, let's summarize what we have learned in this chapter. Organizations should identify talent from the market and acquire them. Organizations should understand what will motivate these talented people and plan accordingly. Managers should adapt themselves to get the best out of the talented people within their division. The procurement function is changing and the organization should have a vision for their future procurement function. Organizations need to understand current market trends and develop strong plans for their future. Hope you have enjoyed this session. Please go through the PDF format that I have provided which will give you more details. Thank you very much.